welcome back to guide and videos today we will be talking about the mandibular nerve in this video we are going to discuss about its various branches and their supply the mandibular nerve is the largest of the three divisions of trigeminal nerve the nerve is originated from the first pharyngeal arch and hence it supplies all the structures derived from this arch the mandibular nerve is a mixed nerve which means it contains both sensory and motor roots in the figure you can appreciate that the sensory root is large and the motor root is small both these roots join together just below the foramen ovale to form the main trunk of the nerve the main trunk has a shorter course and it soon divides into two a small anterior division and a large posterior division and the branches of the nerve are derived from all these three parts as you all know the mandibular nerve is originated from the trigeminal ganglion as said earlier it is the largest division among the three branches of the trigeminal nerve both sensory and motor roots of the nerve passes through the foramen ovale to form the main trunk The main trunk gives out mainly two branches. The first one is the meningeal branch or the nervus spinosum which goes along with the middle meningeal artery to supply the meninges of brain. The next branch from the main trunk is the nerve to medial pterygoid. This passes through the otic ganglion to supply three muscles. the medial pterygoid muscle tensor valley palatini and the tensor tympani the main trunk then divides into two divisions anterior division and posterior division the anterior division gives mainly four branches and mainly supplies the muscles of mastication the first one is a mesenteric nerve which supplies the masseter muscle and the temporomandibular joint the deep temporal nerves branches to supply the temporalis muscle the buccal nerve supplies the skin of cheek then the buccinator muscle the mucous membrane of cheek and the gum of posterior teeth the nerve to lateral pterygoid supplies the lateral pterygoid muscle this is all about the anterior division now coming to the posterior division the first branch of posterior division is the auriculo temporal nerve which has two heads and these heads encircles the middle meningeal artery and joins together to form a single nerve now this nerve supplies the skin of tragus upper part of pinna external auditory meatus and the tympanic membrane which are related to the auricular region and also one gland that is the parotid gland the next is the lingual nerve which joins with the cauda tympani nerve to supply mainly the oral cavity that is it supplies the floor of mouth lingual surface of gum anterior two third of tongue and then two glands submandibular and sublingual salivary gland The next main branch is the inferior alveolar nerve which is very important regarding dentistry. It passes through the mandibular foramen before which it gives a mylohyoid branch that supplies the mylohyoid muscle and the anterior belly of digastric muscle. The inferior alveolar nerve then enters into the mandibular canal through the mandibular foramen along with inferior alveolar artery and gives the dental branch that supplies the lower molars and premolars the nerve then exits through the mandibular foramen to give incisive branch that supplies the incisors and canines 
then the mental branch that supplies the skin of chin and the skin and mucous membrane of lower lip. This is all about the branches of mandibular nerve and their supply. Hope you all enjoyed the class. See you soon in the next video. Till then happy learning. For more videos like this, subscribe our YouTube channel Guide and PSNDC and follow our Instagram page Guide. Thank you for watching.